What is up guys, Mystic7 here, and today, actually very, very recently, there was a humongous, not a humongous, kind of big Pokemon Go update that I have conveniently in my notes right here, or my screenshots, um, and we're going to read through this a little bit and talk about kind of the bigger parts of this update, and then we did go on an adventure today to test out some new update stuff, so we'll show that footage after we talk a little bit about what happened. So, top of the list here, we got trainer avatars can now be recustomized from the profile screen, so if you go to your profile, and you go to the bottom right button, you can customize your, uh, your guy, but I'm going to leave him because I like him, because I made him how I like him. And uh, also, actually, when you catch a Pokemon, uh, there is a button on the bottom right, kind of like that one, and it pops up and it says either favorite or transfer. Now, the reason why, I, I recorded this entire intro, beginning part of the update video at a park, and then the file was corrupted. Just my luck, so I, I can't really show the footage, but th there should be a screenshot of what it looks like. So that's kind of cool when you catch a Pokemon. That pops up as well, and that kind of really helps. Uh, if you're out there, you know, grinding out the Pidgeys, you can transfer them or favorite the good ones, depending on uh, the CP. But yeah, so that's kind of a cool feature as well. If we go back over to the notes, another huge one was adjusted some Pokemon battle move damage values. Now, what this means basically is that the OP Vaporeon, this guy over here, our one and only Sir Squirts, has been nerfed. Yes, guys, they did nerf the Vaporeon. This was one of the most overpowered Pokemon in the game, so it kind of did have it coming, but the Vaporeon is now officially nerfed. So sorry, Sir Squirts. And actually, bottom right here, that's kind of what the uh, the favorite transfer thing looks like. When you catch a Pokemon, this pops up too. But yeah, so the Vaporeon has been nerfed. That is big, and some other Pokemon have been buffed, which is kind of cool. And then everything else was really kind of minor fixes and graphics fixes. As you can see, if you go to Pokemon and then you check out uh, your Pokemon, you can see... Oh, an egg! I, I'm sitting here. I, I This actually might even be a 10k egg. Will we get lucky here? No. Okay. Awesome. That was sick. Well, that's a Caterpie, and we're gonna transfer that with a new feature. So there you go. That's what that looks like. That was cool. Oh, come on now! This might be the 10k. What are we gonna get? Not a 10k. We're gonna transfer this right away because I hate the Zubat. Any more? Any more eggs? Okay, if you look into your Pokemon, you can see that the text has been changed a little bit. The bold, uh, or the title for your CP. The text for the CP is now bold. Same with the eggs. Yeah, okay, so our 10k is at 8.9. I'm tripping. So, uh, that's been changed. And really, everything else is just kind of graphics updates. Uh, now here is a big one that actually, not pissed me off, but kind of pissed me off and affected me a little bit. The nests have possibly been changed. If you guys did have a nest by your house, uh, let's say for Dratini, because as you guys know, we do go to a park a lot called Dratini Park. Um, it is a Dratini nest. Let me scroll down here. Just a little heads up. I did do some research about this stuff after I recorded this clip, and so at about 5 minutes and 50 seconds in this video, I did talk about exactly what happened with the nests and how they changed. Uh, so if you guys had a certain nest that you guys went to before, it did change, but I'll explain a little bit later in the video about what it changed to and how you can check. Like this guy right here, we do have a 487 Dratini with 102 Dratini candy. I do have a Dragonair. We can get the Dragonite. That's awesome. But we got the bulk of these Dratinis at a park by my house. And uh, the spawn points, the nest points have moved. So we did go to Dratini Park today and look around a little bit so you guys can see that footage. We looked around to see if there were Dratinis still spawning. We weren't really there for long. Um, but the spawn points have possibly changed, which sucks because we found a Dratini nest and I don't think it's there anymore and I'm actually really sad. But yeah, so those are kind of the bigger parts of the update. Um, and I don't know guys, tell me in the comments what you guys think. What do you guys think of this update so far? It was minor, but some big things were changed. Um, and oh, bigger one, what am I talking about? There's a huge one here. The steps are gone. They completely, they, they were like, okay, everyone was complaining about the steps. Oh, fix it, fix it. You know what? Fuck you guys. We're taking them out. So the steps are completely gone. Uh, no, realistically, they actually took them out because they are fixing, uh, the step problem right now. Because as we know, there was a three-step glitch. Um, it was only three steps. They didn't get smaller. It didn't go three, two, one like it did at launch. Uh, the steps did not work at all. So people are obviously using PokeVision and stuff now. Um, but yeah, so the three-step glitch, it was, it was so bad. And it threw people off so much that they're like, you know what, we're just going to take it out altogether. And uh, hopefully they will fix that. But for now, while it's broken, they're just going to take the steps out. So if you guys want to use PokeVision, that's going to be the best way to find Pokemon at the moment. Um, but they still do show up on your nearby. So that's kind of it for the bigger parts of this update. Now let's go on and check the footage of today's little Pokemon adventure at Dratini Park. Okay, we've walked about half a lap right now. Haven't really seen much but Sandshrew and, of course, the, uh, the Amistar to begin the video off with. So we're going to drop... And incense right now just to see if I can get anything because actually it was at that spot right over there that I watched the guy about a week ago catch a Charizard because he had an incense down right in front of me and I didn't catch it. I was so salty. Uh, but yeah, so incense down. Oh, look at that. A sand shrew. Oh, an egg. Oh. What are we getting? Pidgey. All right. Okay, so we're going to keep walking around and see what we get, see if any Dratini spawn. Okay, so after walking another lap, there's a couple things that I noticed, uh, a couple things that I caught too. 
if we go to the uh, recents, I did get a pretty good Kabuto and I got an Execute, which is not good, but I'm so close to my Executor, which is awesome. But some things that I noticed from walking around and catching, uh, it's a lot smoother, the game's a lot smoother when you go in, uh, just kind of scroll around, everything's smoother, using your eggs and your incubators is a lot smoother, I don't have any left right now. Um, but overall, I do like this update. It, it made the game better. They're listening to the community, which is awesome. Uh, but still no Dratini, so we're on the hunt. Also, something else that I noticed that I'm going to show right here is that the curve is a lot more effective. There is the berry animation. It's a little bit different. The Pokeball looks different. And the curve is way more effective. I missed like 30 Pokeballs uh, when I first started trying to catch because like I'd spin it and it'd go like, Whoa, like dive away. And I was like, oh my god. So for all my Pokemon curve masters, this just means that uh, you're going to have to adjust your shot a little bit because it does curve a little bit more than it did before. Um, but it's obviously still effective and you can still curve the ball and it still works. Um, and then overall, I mean, if you guys watch the gameplay, it looks better. It just overall, the Pokeball animation looks better. It's a little bit glitchy here and there. Um, but really, I like it a lot better than it did look before. And I don't know, I like the graphic change look good. But let me know what you guys think. So now I'm going to explain exactly what happened with the Pokemon nests and exactly why we didn't catch any Dratini today. And the main reason for that one is not because the nest moved. It's because Dratini nests now no longer exist. Yes, guys, if you had... <laughs> look at his little head. He's like... <laughs> if you guys had a Dratini nest and you guys went there to catch Dratini, hopefully getting the Dragonite, uh, it's gone. There's no more Dratini nests. They do not spawn like that anymore. It's because the Dragonite was becoming way too easy to get. People were getting super high CP ones really, really easily because Dratini nests were everywhere. Um, and then they officially took those out. And I'll explain a little bit more about the Dratinis in a second. But let me talk about what happened with your nest. If you had a local nest, let's say you had an Eevee nest or a uh, Charmander nest, it is now a Bulbasaur nest. And let me show you guys how that works. If you go into your Pokedex and you look... And let's say you had a Charmander nest, there was a park by your house, and it always spawned Charmanders. And you were like, oh my god, I'm going to get my Charmeleon, and then I'm going to get my freaking Charizard, and this is going to be lit, literally, because it's fire, and it was all good, and fine, and dandy, and you're so close, you were right about to get the Charizard, and you realized, Charmanders don't spawn there anymore, it's now Bulbasaur's friend for some reason. You're like, oh shit, it's, I'm not going to complain because it's a Bulbasaur, but I kind of want the Charizard. Uh, basically what happened and how you can tell is if you have a spawner, a park, or whatever, a nest by your house for Charmanders, for any Pokemon in the Pokedex, uh, it is now spawning the one right, the Pokemon right below it. So example, if you had, again, if you had a Charmander nest by your house, it is now a Bulbasaur nest because that is the next Pokemon down on the Pokedex. So... Uh, if you had a Pikachu nest, this one's gonna suck. If you had a Pikachu nest, it is now an Ekans nest, which is horrible. So, what that means for us, and actually I looked it up a little bit, uh, we had a Dratini nest, uh, and according to a website that I checked out that I will link down in the comment section, this is the one that I'm basically basing all of my information off of. Again, in the comment section, I will link this down there. Go check it out to see exactly what your nest has turned into. But if I had the Dratini nest, and uh, apparently according to the website, it's not a Kabuto nest, although uh, as you saw from today's video, there were a ton of Kabuto spawning. Um, it is now an Eevee nest, which I'm not going to complain about. It went from Dratini to Eevee. That's not terrible. Even Dratini to Kabuto or Dratini to Om... Okay, Dratini to Omanyte would suck, but Dratini to Kabuto isn't terrible. Dratini to Eevee isn't terrible, even though the uh, Vaporeon has been nerfed. But, yeah, so no longer Dratini. It has now gone down to either Kabuto or a... Eevee, which sucks because I would much rather have a Dratini one, but that's kind of how it's working now. So that's how to base your nest off of. Like if your nest was something and now it's, you know, spawning some other uh, Pokemon, it's because the nests have officially changed and they probably will be changing periodically um, because people were like working out maps, global maps uh, as to where things were spawning. But yeah, so that has changed. And that's kind of the bigger part of this update, the nest portion of it. So if you guys do have a nest, that has changed. This is the reason why. It's because people were figuring out, okay, I can farm this kind of Pokemon here, and people would go there all the time and then give two big Pokemon, two big Dragonites, uh, and then stuff like that. So I guess it was kind of an unfair advantage for Pokemon players all over the world, especially people where you could not get this type of Pokemon, and then someone, you know, in this next city over from you is just farming them like nobody's business. So that's kind of what uh, the developers did to help patch that problem, which kind of sucks, especially for me, because, again, I had a Dratini nest, and all I needed was 125 candy to evolve my really, really good Dratini to a Dragonair, to a Dragonite, and I was very, very close. I'm like 20 Dratini candy away, so I gotta go find those uh, in the wild somewhere. 
Uh, but again, it sucks, but that's kind of how it's working. So that's the update right now uh, and kind of what happened. The bigger portion, the nest was huge. The nest update part of it was huge and unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, guys, that was the update. Let me know in the comments. Tell me down in the comments exactly one, what you guys think of the update because I want to know what you guys think. And two, what nest did you guys have by you and what is it now? I really, really want to know what you guys have been either screwed out of because I was screwed out of the Jotini. So I know how you guys feel if you guys got screwed in this update. Or if you got unscrewed and you had a really, really bad Pokemon that kept spawning at a park, you're like, this fucking sucks. And then now an awesome Pokemon is spawning there. Let me know because I want to know that too. Um, so tell me all that stuff down in the comments below. And yeah, guys, that was today's video. Really, really quick video. I just wanted to get this out for the update just so that, you know, to show you guys because I was driving to my girlfriend's friend's mom's reception, wedding reception, and then I saw the tweet from Pokemon Go saying there was an update, and I was like, babe, I'm gonna have to be late, there's a Pokemon update, so I had to get this out really, really quickly for you guys, so that is the update, hope you guys enjoyed that, now I'm going to dip, go to this wedding reception, and then uh, enjoy Pokemon from there, but yeah guys, that's it for today's video, hope you guys enjoyed, if you guys did and found this helpful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and comment down below your comment question of the day, and your Pokemon nest near you, and that's it for today, hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you on the next video, peace out.